Hi, my name is Ted Denny. I'm the lead designer at Synergistic Research. I'm talking to you in my listening room. This is a 17 feet wide by 33 feet long by 13 foot high uh, dedicated listening room that we use for developing our technology. When you look around the room, you see these black and white panels. These black and white panels are nothing more than standard foam board that we've painted with my patented UEF paint. This is a noise correction paint that takes the place of large, bulky, standard acoustics. It's invisible. It's three microns thick like ordinary house paint, but unlike ordinary house paint, it can mitigate any sound or noise problems you may have. In this room, we have about a one-third coverage, or 33% of the paintable surfaces are being affected by UEF paint. Instead of painting the whole room, which would over dampen the room, that's something you would do for bars, restaurants, or to have a nice quiet home. We painted these foam boards, we moved them around strategically to get the sound that we want. We're going to remove the foam board panels from the room, which are currently painted, and let you hear what this room sounds like untreated. Would you like to hear the effect of the panels in and out of the room? Listen to this. What do you normally have to do to cut down on slap echo like that? Could you just paint a wall? <laughs> no, no. I, I, <laughs> I'm going to record something. I carefully find a room yeah. that's, you know, that has done countless great recordings in it. Mm -hmm. um, and if, but if it's, like, let's say if it was in somebody's home and they lived in a, I don't know, an echoey garage, mm -hmm. they want to do some recording, I mean, you know, maybe never thought about it. Maybe we could put some, you know, put some of this paint on the walls and then it controls the environment and makes it not so garage-like and it, you know, I, I can see people experimenting with like, do they paint one wall or do they paint all the walls or do they paint half of the walls or something? Well, that's uh, why we're doing the panels. Yeah. Because for sound quality, you want to be able to move it and just moving those panels an inch or two in one direction or another has a significant right. effect on sound. So then can and you if just, you painted the whole wall of the room, it would just be too damped. So then can you just, you could buy some kind of uh, I don't know, particle board or something? Yeah, and, we're, and we're, well, particle board there? is heavy, and, but, and you saw us moving. Yeah. You could to be less expensive. Right. But we're using foam board because it's light, and we can pick it up and move it sure. around. And the ones hanging from the ceiling are just held in place with magnets, so we can easily take them in and out. And then the ones on the floor leaning up against the wall, we've taped them off, but I've spent hours moving them around here and there until I got just the right sound. Yeah. Well, I mean, you might want to, you might need to make some boards. Right here. Well, it's a product that we market that uses UEF coating. And but, this is, but we I have mean, a like grid pattern that you those, can prescribe. Those, it's very easy oh, to Oh, I follow. guess. Okay, you could get a bunch of small ones, you know, yeah. but in, in your room you had, you know, boards that were eight feet tall. Well, do you hear how lively that room is? Yeah. I designed it that way on purpose. That makes the room very efficient, sound-wise. Sound carries yeah. very efficiently in a space like that. And it's also a, a, an ideal application for testing UEF tech mm -hmm. because there's nothing else there doing the work. Now, we've got furniture and we have things in here and that's breaking up the sound and we have a cork ceiling and that's absorbing sound mm -hmm. somewhat. Um, but that is, that's an echo chamber and I designed it that way on purpose to be the most challenging Dimensionally, it's perfect for sound, but I wanted it to be as live as possible, as the harshest possible environment in which to perfect UEF tech for uh, uh, acoustic applications, and that's what we did. Hmm. And we moved it around, but normal uh, recording studios and such was what, what I developed these squares for. You just add a few of these in an otherwise okay acoustic environment and it becomes magnificent, incredible. Yeah, and no, I was... I Remember was, when I just popped the first one? Yeah, I know. I was sitting here, yeah. you know, listening carefully to something we had we had done, and then you put one of those there, and I went, "Wait a minute, what, what did you just do?" Yeah, because <laughs> it kind of centered the image. Well, I've done that in recording studios, and the engineer just they they, they always just can't believe it. They can't believe what they're uh, what they're hearing and and what they're seeing with their eyes. This little black square that's very thin. 
uh, moving around and radically changing the sound for the better. Um, it's very good when you put it in the room and when you work to find the right grid pattern, it becomes unbelievable.